Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to find the inverse of a matrix. We have been given matrix A which contains certain elements. The formula for finding the inverse of a matrix denoted by A to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 by determinant of matrix A times a join of matrix A. There are two conditions for the existence of an inverse of a matrix. The first condition is that it should be a square matrix and the second condition is that it should be a non-singular matrix which implies that its determinant should not be equal to zero matrix a here contains three row and three columns so evidently it is a square matrix in order to know whether matrix a is a singular or non-singular matrix we need to find its determinant the determinant of matrix A which is of 3 by 3 order is obtained by expanding along the first row. Element 4 is present in the first row and first column. Its sum is equal to an even number. So we have a positive sign. We will simply write 4. On deleting the row and the column in which element 4 is present, we are left with elements 3, 2, 0, 7. Element 1 is present in the first row and second column. Its sum is equal to an odd number, so we have a negative sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element 1 is present, we are left with elements 0, 2, 3, 7. Element minus 1 is present in the first row and third column. Its sum is equal to an even number, therefore we have a positive sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element minus 1 is present, we are left with elements 0, 3, 3, 0. Therefore, the determinant of matrix A equals 99, which is a non-zero. Hence, it is a non-singular matrix. Let us now proceed to find the cofactors of each element of matrix A. The cofactor of an element Aij is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j times Mij. Mij is the minor of the element Aij. The cofactor of the element A11 is equal to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1. i is the row in which the element is present and j is the column in which the element is present times its minor the minor is obtained by deleting the row and the column in which the element is present the element a11 in this case is 4 on deleting the row and the column in which element 4 is present we are left with elements 3 2 0 7 another way of finding the cofactors of each element is by checking its positional sign and then find its minor. A11 is present in the first row and first column. Its sum is equal to an even number. Therefore, we have a positive sign. A12 is present in the first row and second column. Its sum is equal to an odd number. So, we have a negative sign. A13 is present in the first row and third column. Its sum is equal to an even number. So, we have a positive sign. A21 is present in the second row and first column. Its sum is equal to an odd number. Therefore, we have a negative sign. The positional sign of all the other elements are found in this manner. Now, A11 is present in the first row and first column. So, we will have a positive sign. The element A11 is 4. On deleting the row and the column in which element 4 is present, we are left with elements 3, 2, 0, 7. Element A12 is present in the first row and second column. Its sum is equal to an odd number. Therefore, we will have a negative sign. Element A21 is 1. On deleting the row and the column in which element 1 is present, we are left with elements 0, 2, 3, 7. The element A13 is present in the first row and third column. Its sum is equal to an even number. Therefore, we have a positive sign. 
element a13 is minus 1. On deleting the row and the column in which element minus 1 is present, we are left with elements 0, 3, 3, 0. The element a21 is present in the second row and first column. Its sum is equal to an odd number, therefore we will have a negative sign. The element a21 is 0. On deleting the row and the column in which element 0 is present, we are left with elements 1, minus 1, 0, 7. Element A22 is present in the second row and second column. Its sum is equal to an even number. Therefore, we have a positive sign. Element A22 is 3. On deleting the row and the column in which element 3 is present, we are left with elements 4, minus 1, 3, 7. Element A23 is present in the second row and third column. Its sum is equal to an odd number. Therefore, we have a negative sign. Element A23 is 2. On deleting the row and the column in which element 2 is present, we are left with elements 4, 1, 3, 0. Element A31 is present in the third row and first column. Its sum is equal to an even number. Therefore, we will have a positive sign. Element A31 is 3. On deleting the row and the column in which element 3 is present, we are left with elements 1, minus 1, 3, 2. Element A32 is present in the third row and second column. Its sum is equal to an odd number. Therefore, we have a negative sign. Element A32 is 0. On deleting the row and the column in which element 0 is present, we are left with elements 4, minus 1, 0, 2. Element A33 is present in the third row and third column. Its sum is equal to an even number. Therefore, we have a positive sign. Element A33 is 7. On deleting the row and the column in which element 7 is present, we are left with elements 4, 1, 0, 3. Let us now frame the cofactor matrix of matrix A, which comprises of all the cofactors of each element. C11, which is the cofactor of A11, is 21. C12, which is the cofactor of A12, is 6. C13, which is the cofactor of A13, is minus 9. C21, which is the cofactor of A21, is minus 7. C22, which is the cofactor of A22 is 31. C23, which is the cofactor of A23 is 3. C31, which is the cofactor of A31 is 5. C32, which is the cofactor of A32 is minus 8. C33, which is the cofactor of A33 is 12. Let us now find the adjoint matrix. The adjoint matrix is nothing but the transpose of the cofactor matrix. The transpose of a matrix is obtained by interchanging the rows into columns or columns into rows. Let us rewrite the first row as first column, the second row as second column, and the third row as third column. Let us now substitute the determinant of matrix A and a joint of matrix A in the formula of inverse of matrix A. The value of the determinant of matrix A is 99. 
let us multiply 1 by 99 with each element inside the matrix. Three times seven equals twenty one. Three times thirty three equals ninety nine. Three times two equals six. Three times thirty three equals ninety nine. Nine times one equals nine. Nine times eleven equals ninety nine. Three times one equals three. Three times thirty three equals ninety nine. Three times four equals twelve. Three times thirty three equals ninety nine. This is the resulting inverse of matrix A. Thank you.